Okay, so we looked at SageMaker Studio, but let's go take a look at Azure ML Studio. Um, so I'm gonna make my way over to Azure. I think it's just uh, portal uh, portal.azure.com. And I'm not doing this every day. I don't really build pipelines, um, uh, workloads in here, but I've obviously taught um, a lot of this, so I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, and there is a way to launch things in Azure AI Studio. I think it's now called Foundry, which is Azure AI Foundry. Did they rename it? It doesn't look renamed to me. I thought they renamed it. Nope, it's still called Azure AI Studio. Okay, maybe that's an external service. I'm kind of curious there. Azure AI Foundry. Where's the rename? Here we go. Oh, maybe it's at AI, AI.Azure.com. If we go here, is that where it is? This might, like, uh, Microsoft likes to have more entry points into their products. <laughs> I don't have a project called that. We'll select another project here. Um, but I think this is just another way to access Azure AI Studio. Uh, I have a, a Japanese example here from a while ago that's a hub. This is not the way that I would like to do it. But if we click into here, this is just an existing project. I'm not suggesting you to make a project in here. I just want to show you. Um, yeah, we have to make a new project. But there's compute here on the left-hand side. And so you could technically launch up a compute instance here. I don't recommend doing it here because the experience here is kind of broken. And so when you're using Azure, I would recommend going into specifically Azure Machine Learning Service. And here you can see I have an example. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm not using it right now. Um, so I just want to go ahead and delete this for now. Um, I'm looking for the resource group to delete. How do I keep up with all these clouds? I don't know. Okay. You're probably asking me that. But I'm going to go ahead and just delete this. Now, for SageMaker Studio, I didn't show you how to set it up completely, but for this, I will. It's a little bit um, straightforward to, to create and delete. So I'm going to go ahead here and make a new workspace. I don't know what this costs. Um, to me, it's like pennies. If you're worried about it, don't do it. If you know Azure pretty well and you're comfortable with it, go ahead and do that. Um, but we'll go ahead and just say AZ example. And I'm going to just say AZ example. The region does matter because different computers are available in different areas. I don't know what to choose, so I'm gonna use uh, Central US. I don't want anything fancier today. It's creating a bunch of these other things here. I don't think I need container registry, so I'm gonna ignore that. We'll go next. Um, I'm gonna leave it as public. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and create this. And so we'll have to wait a little bit for this to create. It shouldn't take too long, okay? I don't sure if there's one other step after here, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit, see if I have another thing I have to confirm. No, there is not. I'll be back here in just a moment, okay. All right, so that's finished uh, deploying. I'm gonna go to my resources here and I'm gonna launch Studio. And hopefully it looks the same from the last time I was here. Quite similar. So on the left-hand side, what I'm looking for is environments. And I'm just gonna ignore, ignore this. Um, I could have swore it was from here. If it's not here, there's another place from in here to, uh, to launch it, but I was pretty certain Oh, notebooks here on the left-hand side. Mm, yeah, create compute. Okay, so I mean, I was looking for compute. Oh, it's down here, compute's down here. Okay, so we can create our compute over here or we can just go through notebooks and, and create it here. Notice we have CPUs and GPUs, just like AWS. You, can, you have options that you can choose. I like how the prices are here on the right-hand side. It's not 0 0.5 cents, but um, there are other options here that we can utilize. So it really depends on what you want to do. They're just re recommending ones here. I can just sort this by cost. And not as cheap as AWS, but still pretty good. Um, and I'll go ahead to next. And we have idle shutdown. So that's really good. Okay, we have lots of good options here. I'll go ahead and review and create. So you can see the experience is a little bit better than AWS. N not that anybody ever talks about it. Um, and so now we're waiting for that compute. We can go down here and probably see it spinning up. And so now we're just waiting for that to create, okay? All right, so our compute is ready. Let's go take a look. And so we have a few options. We have Jupyter Lab, Jupyter, VS Code. Um, Jupyter is probably the old Jupyter Notebook, so I'm not sure why you'd ever want to use that, but we can go ahead and open this one here. And then the VS Code Web. I think we could run these in parallel. I'm not really sure. Um, but it's just going to give us an environment that we can utilize. So nothing crazy here. And there's no surprise that um, Azure can do this because 
Git, Azure, or Microsoft owns GitHub, so all this technology is probably shared between them. You'll notice we have a few different options depending on what you want to do. We have Azure ML, the SDK version three. I'm not doing anything fancy, so I'm gonna just do something simple here for the notebook. And I'm gonna do a pip install transformers again and again and again till we get tired of it. So we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, so we're now installing transformers, which is great. I'm gonna go over to here and we, I'm not sure if it mirrors the files. I would expect that it would, right? I can save this file here for a second. I'm just gonna name it as untitled, I don't care. And this one is being a little bit unresponsive. Since it's in preview, so I'm not really surprised it's not working, but I, I don't really care, okay? We know that we have this as an option, and so this is another way that you can run compute. Obviously, the reason that you use SageMaker Azure ML is that they have kernels that are specific to their environments uh, to make it easier to work with Azure ML Studio or uh, when you're building pipelines or SageMaker Studio. Um, but you can you generally use them, but sometimes I've ran into issues using these things because the way they have their, their kernel set up, the stuff that's pre-installed on them, and that runs into issues for me. In order to delete this, I think we have to completely shut it down first. It is shutting down, so now it will delete it. So now I don't have to worry about that. So that is uh, how you get a notebook running here on Azure ML Studio. And it's up to you if you want to tear down the, uh, the Azure A Studio. I showed you that earlier in the video. You just go into, um, I mean, I suppose I can delete it now. It's not that big of a deal. But you find your resource group and you delete your resource group. That is how you're going to get rid of this here, okay? Ciao.